Okay, so I've been playing around with the Xbox emulator on my Raspberry Pi 5, but I also thought I'd try it on my Orange Pi 5. Uh, this is an Orange Pi 5 Plus with 16 gig of RAM, and I wondered if it would do it better. So let's just open it up and launch it. And I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to install it on the Raspberry Pi 5. I'm working on it at the moment, because um, it's exactly the same method. It probably works the same on most ARM-based little SBCs. So I grab my controller, and is it going to go straight into a game? I think it will, because I was playing, yeah, Crash Bandicoot. And it, it definitely performs a little bit better than the Raspberry Pi 5, um, but traditionally the Raspberry Pi 5 has had much better GPU support. So when we get another update of Misa, it might switch around, but at the moment I am definitely getting smoother performance on the Orange Pi 5 Plus. So double the RAM, but I don't think the RAM's making any difference. I think it is just a more powerful CPU. But again, with different drivers, uh, it could go either way. And I'll switch into screen capture. So we just go straight in to new game. And let's go view and full screen, because it doesn't seem to make much difference. Desktop's running at 720. Uh, oh, The uh, emulator is running at 640 by 480. This bit's definitely running a lot faster. So on this screen, it's definitely a bit faster than it was in the Pi 5, not by loads, and it is still awful. I totally admit that. But I'm hoping that the more people that get hold of this and play around with it, maybe we'll find better solutions of how to get it working. Let's just turn that down a little bit. There we go. So in the game, yeah, very jerky, but it is working and with some tweaking, we might get there. Right, let's quit out of that and try a bit of Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX because that also was running a little bit better. See, it launches really quick and that loading is definitely quicker. Still running off the same USB stick as I'm using my, with my Raspberry Pi, all exactly the same setup. All the menus are fine. So there's a possibility that some Xbox games may run all right uh, if they're really low end or maybe 2D or, or really basic games that are easier to run in emulation. But I was trying to find a list of what is easier to run on an Xbox and I couldn't really find much uh, on the original Xbox. So here, yeah, you can see super slow. It does give you time to do your trick though. But yeah, not really playable. So let's just quickly try GTA. So again, launch is super quick, nice and stable. And this is the custom version of Ubuntu, uh, which I've done videos on, which is a really good operating system to run on an Orange Pi 5 Plus or an Orange Pi 5. So all the intro is, uh, as you can see, a bit laggy, or a lot laggy. See, this bit is incredibly slow, look. And I can't move until he shuts the door, which is now. There you go, <laughs> so you can see. It isn't playable, but again, it is running better than I had it on the Pi 5. So hopefully with graphics drivers, this whole situation will get that. How long does it take to open the car door? Right, so let's quit out of that. As I say, I will be doing a tutorial, uh, hopefully later on today, but I'll also, let's just show this in case there's any error messages that anybody wants to read. Although I think I'm getting less error messages on this. Means, uh, yeah, I'm not getting that direct 3D error message. Okay, so anyway, uh, tutorial later on. Hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.